Hi guys welcome to the first and second episode recap of the K-drama The Worst of Evil. With a plot spoiler alert let's get to it. The drama opens with a violent gang fight in a building hallway and is set in the 1990s. During this fight a man locks eyes with a woman at the opposite end of the hallway. The man tries to fight his way to the woman, but eventually the woman gets dragged away by a gangster, as he watches in anger and horror. We then flash back two years, and we see the man we saw in the fight is police officer Park Yoon Mo. He is married to Yu Jong who was the woman from the fight. Woo Jong too is a police officer, and comes from a family of police officers who have held and currently hold high ranks. When Yu Jong gets a promotion, both Jun Mo and Yu Jong join her family for dinner. During the dinner Jun Mo gets belittled for not being able to get a promotion like Yu Jong. We are then introduced to Jung Ji Chul, who works as a DJ in a nightclub. He is known for his connections and fighting skills. One night he receives an offer to work for a powerful gang lord named Song Dong Hak, through his right-hand man Jung Kum Chul, who is also the head of the Gundam Union, with the promise of making him wealthy quickly. Observing Ji Chul's enthusiasm for rapid wealth, Kum Chul tells him that if he manages to recruit all of his friends into the gang, he will make Ji Chul the owner of a club. A year later we see that Ji Chul owns a club, but is highly influenced by Kum Chul and his gang. So he becomes unable to stand up to powerful individuals in the club and protect his own friends. Feeling trapped, he confronts Kung Chul and suggests selling drugs in the club to make money, in return for the ability to manage his club independently. Kung Chul reacts with anger insulting him for proposing drug dealing and walks away. Ji Chul returns to his friends Quan Tae Ho, Hong Hee Sung, and Choi Jung Bae, who are willing to do anything for him. Together they decide to form their own gang to challenge Kung Chul and his gang, with the aim of taking over Gundam. Ji Chul also manages to gather evidence that Kung Chul is planning to break away from Dong Hak and form his own gang. After recruiting his team including So Jong Ro, who is an excellent fighter, Ji Chul invites Kung Chul and his gang for a social gathering in a remote hotel. During the night, Ji Chul and his gang attacks Kung Chul and his men, and ends up in a brutal fight. They manages to overpower Kung Chul and his gang. Kung Chul however manages to kill Tae Ho, so Ji Chul kills him out of rage, instead of taking him to Dong Hak. Ji Chul then meets Dong Hak and reports Kung Chul's plan to create his own gang with Dong Hak's rival gang. He convinces Dong Hak to appoint him as the head of the Gundam Union. Although Dong Hak is aware of Ji Chul killing Kung Chul, he overlooks it and spreads the news as that Kung Chul has gone into hiding. With Ji Chul taking over Gundam, he starts his plan of drug dealing and eventually expands overseas as well. The Japanese government becomes aware of a Korean gang involved in drug supply and discusses this with Cho Chung Sik, who is a Korean prosecutor, to investigate and stop the gang. They decide to send an undercover police officer to catch the drug dealer. Chung Sik uses Jun Mo for this mission because he's daring and can easily fit in with the organization. Jun Mo is eager for promotion, so Chung Sik asks Jun Mo's close colleague Sak Du Hong to get Jun Mo on board. Both Chung Sik and Du Hong convince Jun Mo to take the task by promising him a double promotion. After Jun Mo agrees to the task, Chung Sik and Du Hong have a secret meeting with him to discuss it further. They brief Yun Mo about Ji Chul and his gang, and that the key members are his high school friends, and are very close, like brothers. With Ji Chul's replacement as the head of Gundam Union, the gang has been taking over the nightclubs and the restaurants at a rapid speed, which suggests that they are the ones involved with the drug dealing. Tae Ho is apparently Ji Chul's best friend, and they arrange Yun Mo to be Tae Ho's fake cousin Kwan Soong Ho, and join Ji Chul's gang. So Jun Mo applies for sick leave at the police station, and the next day he goes to one of the restaurants Ji Chul goes to with his members, wearing Tae Ho's watch and demands to meet Ji Chul. When he was tried to force out of the restaurant, Jun Mo gets into a fight causing a scene at the restaurant. Ji Chul hears about the commotion and decides to meet Jun Mo. When Ji Chul gets there he notices the watch Jun Mo wearing and recognizes it to be Tae Ho's. Jun Mo introduces himself as Tae Ho's cousin Soong Ho, and demands to know if they managed to find the man who killed Tae Ho. Surprised by him, Ji Chul hands him his business card and suggests having a meeting in his office. Ji Chul then goes to meet Tae Ho's father to ask about his cousin Soong Ho. Jun Mo and team has already convinced Tae Ho's father to help them, so he tells them Soong Ho and Tae Ho were very close when they were young. The two got separated when Soong Ho joined a fishing crew, and he was shocked to hear about Soong Ho's death after his return. The next day Jun Mo goes to see Ji Chul at his office. Ji Chul assumes that Jun Mo is after money, so he hands him a bag of money and asks him to leave. Angered by this, Jun Mo picks a fight with Ji Chul's men and fights them while Ji Chul watches. He then walks away saying that he will personally find the man who killed Tae Ho and take revenge. Jun Mo starts distributing flyers to find Kung Chul in places where Ji Chul's men hang out so that Ji Chul will hear about it. Meanwhile, He Seng approaches Hun Du, who is a member of Kung Chul's gang who continues to interfere with Ji Chul's work. He proposes to Hun Du to take down Ji Chul. He convinces Hun Du to seek Dong Hak's permission in exchange for helping set up Ji Chul. He takes them to an abandoned nightclub and informs them that Ji Chul is planning a recruitment event at the nightclub that night. He sent promises to hide their weapons in the bar for them. 
Jichul on the other hand sends a voice message to Junmo for a meet up in the deserted club. Junmo goes to the club with Duhong watching him from outside of the club, and he takes photos of everything that happens outside. When he gets there, Jichul offers Junmo to join his gang. Just then Hundu and his members arrive at the club. To their horror they find He Seng has not brought in the weapons as promised, and he has actually set them up. He Sen locks them inside the club, and Junmo and Ji Chul fights the men. As they fight, Cheng Bei and the rest of the members arrive and they swamp Hun Du and his team. After getting severely beaten up by Ji Chul's gang, Ji Chul lets them go, after threatening them to stay out of their business. Ji Chul then makes a call to Dong Hak and scoffs at him for letting Hun Du and his men attack him. He tells Dong Hak that he will no longer pay him monthly from his income, and hangs up the call. He then takes Junmo to a club he named after Tae Ho and hands it over to him. He also confesses to him that he killed Tae Ho's killer. So Junmo joins the gang as planned and Duhong continues to follow him around. On the other hand, Yu Jong becomes worried when she doesn't hear from Junmo. She decides to call the police department where Junmo works to check on him. To her surprise, she learns that Junmo has taken leave due to his asthma. Wu Jong insists on meeting him for lunch. While dining, Junmo confesses to her about his mission to catch Ji Chul. Just then Ji Chul and his gang walk into the restaurant. To Junmo's surprise, Yu Jong and Ji Chul greet each other and learn that they have attended the same high school. Ji Chul is also aware that Yu Jong is a police officer. After she leaves, Jun Mo is confronted and beaten up by Ji Chul's gang for meeting with the cop. Jun Mo convinces them by explaining that Yu Jong was only there to inform him about his father, who was arrested for using drugs. On their way back, He Seng and Jung Bei continue their conversation about Yu Jong, revealing that she was actually Ji Chul's first love. Jun Mo gets frustrated on hearing it, and to his horror notices a necklace that Ji Chul is wearing, and remembers Yu Jong having the exact same necklace. With that, the episode ends. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.